My bag has its own seat. I repeat, my bag has its own seat. This is weird. <laughs> I'm actually going to be home for some of this vlog, which is very exciting to me because I feel like the last couple of vlogs I have not been here. Today is Thursday. This week so far in terms of my vlogging has not gone to plan whatsoever. So I'm hoping to pull something out of the bag today. I am finally home. I am very excited to be home for the foreseeable apart from a wedding that we have coming up which isn't far but it's not super local so it is a little a little trip for us but ryan and i are both very very excited for that i've already overdone it on the brows wow wow that is a heavy brow anyway this month has been a little bit chaotic this isn't a moan this is just uh the facts so to give a rundown of this month in case you haven't caught up on the vlogs i will link like either a playlist or my previous vlog here but i will link a playlist if i can in the info box below so that you guys can have a little look at what i've been up to if you have missed a few vids i don't blame you we've all been very busy i feel like a lot of people in the uk are very busy right now lockdown has kind of lifted and things are just a little bit weird so yeah we're all trying to like figure it out but to sum up this month it started off with my mum's birthday celebrations and then went into my grandpa's funeral and then I have one day I think to like pack for wilderness festival I have Ryan's birthday the next day wilderness festival coming back from wilderness festival packing for the next trip which was for Ryan's birthday which was in the last vlog we then went off for Ryan's birthday for a few days came back had my second vax <laughs> The second vac knocked me a little bit, so the day after that was a write-off. I then had Cardiff on the Saturday, Sunday, came back, packed my bags, went to London, stayed overnight in London, came back, went back to London, came back last night, and now I am here. And that is this month in a nutshell. I think there have been about four days that I have been home. So I am so looking forward to some time at home with some good home cooking lots of tidying, lots of organising, like really getting things back in order because that's what I find I need to do after being away from home for a really long time. I got back here this morning and the house was just 
a tip from where I've only been coming home to literally like rearrange a suitcase, change clothes. Both Ryan and I had been using it literally as a base just to change clothes and then like go. It was a mess. There is actually, I've never seen my, I've been here for a year and a bit. I moved in during lockdown and I've never seen my washing bin overflowing, but it is right now. So I'm very excited to just get my bearings a little bit, get back into like my healthy, habits which i have tried to keep up whilst i've been away but it's difficult missed my walks a lot just missed my like having some like time some mental time to sit and think okay let's sort this out because this is not it i'm not down for this i also got water whilst i was up because i've not drunk enough today i also i'm really happy you'll have seen in the last vlog finally managed to get my hands on a starbucks clear like starbucks cup so happy Mm. so they're happy and hopefully my water intake will be really good now because i've got this i use my other starbucks cups too much for coffee too much for coffee can you ever have too much coffee and it works really well because one of them especially is like a thermal cup and i love that but annoyingly it does mean that sometimes my water tastes a little bit like coffee if i've had a very strong coffee sitting in it for too long it has to be like fully like soaked so to catch you up on this week this week has been crazy, nothing has gone to plan. So I was meant to start this vlog on Monday and I didn't really get a chance to start at home and I was like, it's fine, I'll just start when I get to the hotel because I was doing an overnight stay with Jimmy Choo, it was my first like press trip back. It's still a little bit different, like we don't, we're all booked in to like a place a venue one at a time and we just kind of like stay overnight and we don't really like interact with anyone else it's very isolated it's an introvert stream i'm not gonna lie and jimmy Chu very kindly booked us an incredible suite at the shard i knew we were staying at the shard i've stayed at the shard before it's lovely but this room i'd never stayed in there and it completely blew me away like i was actually gobsmacked and i just kind of went into overthinking mode i was like i really don't know how i meant to start a vlog in this place it is so grand this was so over the top i just st i don't even know what's going on right now so I, I kind of took a step back i vlogged a little bit so i've got an itchy under eye i vlogged a little bit but i just couldn't say anything i didn't know what to say and it felt really jarring to you know start a vlog being like right so guys i'm at the shard in the london suite but it was incredible and i just thought you know what? i'm just gonna like take this for what it is and like fully experience this and tell you about it later but it was honestly incredible jimmy Choo had like taken over that suite there were bottles of Jimmy Choo everywhere and like the big giant bottles which I don't think they actually sell which always makes me so sad. The walk-in wardrobe section was like filled with like shoes and bags that we could like loan and take out to dinner with us at the Shard. It was so fun and there was like a bath tub that like overlooked the view and apparently it's the only suite in the Shard that does that. All the rest of them are like fully back in the bathroom but this one's like in the window. It was just incredible. They also did they also did pillowcases with our initials on and that suite is the only one that does it and you get to take the pillowcases home and I was just like wow that's amazing I know that we were booked in at the Shard and like that's a great experience in itself but it's the little things that I was just like oh my god that's amazing yeah it was just really fun I got to take Ryan he'd never been on any kind of brand trip with me before so it was a lot for him but yeah we had so much fun and the next day I went and did a little bit of shopping for my birthday because I actually don't know really when I'm going to be in London next and I just had some time to myself and when I buy like things like this that I bought I generally like to be on my own I get a little bit like I feel a bit nervous sometimes going into like these kind of shops and I just like to like just be able to kind of like push that feeling aside and know that it's just like there's no one else with me that's also feeling nervous so I tend to go on my own and yeah it was actually a really lovely experience. The sales associate that I was with was amazing, I really really liked her and she, she just really got me and I'm really excited with what I bought. Yeah so I have, I have secured a bag and I'm really excited I'm gonna like try and keep it ready until my birthday which actually isn't really that long away now so it's gonna fly by it always always does September always like flies by for me and before you know it, it's my birthday because it's like right at the beginning of the month of October that is for anyone that's new here that doesn't know so I did that and then I got in a cab 
And this is a very crucial part of the story that's going on today. I got in a cab and went to see Lucy and Lydia for lunch. And I then have had a meeting in the same place after. So lovely, so lovely to see them and catch up with them. I actually like cried when I saw them get out of their cab because it was just like, it was a really overwhelming moment. Like seeing someone that you haven't seen in, uh, who I used to see like monthly, if not weekly sometimes. And then seeing someone that you haven't you used to see all the time and you haven't seen in like a year and a half maybe a bit longer it was a really weird like overwhelming happy feeling and just really indescribable i've never really felt anything like that before yeah it was really lovely i hadn't had my meeting after got to the train station and realized that in that cab ride from chanel to my lunches i had left my vlogging camera and i can't tell you like there are like three three material things that I like my heart sinks and I feel like I've lost an arm if I lose I think like phone and wallet have got to be up there as like number one and two I actually don't know which one I think I feel worse about my wallet but I'd be so heartbroken over the phone because the memes but the vlogging camera definitely is up there as like number three because it's like my friend that I speak to every single day and it's like my literally my like left arm and it has memes on it as well and it had like footage from the shard and I was just so sad managed to get it back because the cab driver kept it took it home with him and I managed to get a courier <laughs> the most expensive mistake of my life losing this camera i managed to get a courier to go and get it from him and then had, had it couriered to brighton so i had it back same day but <laughs> i cannot tell you the stress of trying to orchestrate that whilst on a train home so you're like going through like tunnels the whole shebang trying to get it back that night so that i didn't inconvenience him at, at all because obviously over the next few days he'd be working and all of that so i was like desperately just trying to find something that like worked for everyone and yeah i got it back we're back we are back and i'm so so happy still a slightly less expensive mistake than having to replace the full camera and memory card situation so i would take it on the chin but it was a very expensive mistake on my part In my 10 years of doing this online thing i have never lost my camera i've never left it anywhere I was just carrying a few too many things on Tuesday and I was like, yeah, sod's law, it's my first trip back to London. I really wanted to fully vlog my first like week back in London or like my first few days back in London and like fully take you guys along for the experience, show you guys a little bit of like what it's like for me and nothing went to plan, nothing went to plan. But I am just grateful that we are back. We are back doing our thing. I'm very happy to be home. I am looking forward to sorting out my garden, sorting out my house, just getting everything super like lovely and organized. Oh, yesterday I went back to London as well for a Space and K event. So I picked up some hourglass bits. I actually have them behind me. I've been waiting to do my eye makeup with you guys because these are so pretty. And I wanted to show you guys the, I don't know if you'll be able to see a good close up from yesterday's footage, but the eye makeup that the hourglass makeup artist did on me was like one of the best eye looks I've ever seen i didn't want to take my makeup off last night i picked out these shades and these were what she used for my eyes these are refillable eyeshadow palettes from hourglass they are so cool i think they're like fully sustainable as far as i that's what my memory is telling me that was what i was told so you've got like the tin casing on the outside the eyeshadows on the inside like when you use them you can just pop a new one back in so you don't have to like you know waste a palette and you obviously like choose the colors that you want so there's no eyeshadow colors that you're not going to use they were basically saying they were trying to get away from eyeshadow palettes that you know there's like a few colors that you love but then loads of colors that you don't use and i love that and i'm so happy with this little trio they also do a palette of five as well which is really cool so i picked these three i have a few more as well so i'm gonna get another little case but this one has my name engraved as well which is so cute so yeah excited to use those she also used these brushes on me so i'm going to be using them as well because they were really really soft but first i am going to use the eyeshadow primer from them because apparently this is very very good so i'm just gonna pop a bit on the back of my hand oh it's a really interesting texture. So yesterday me and Lauren went back up to London for this hourglass event, which was so lovely to go back to like an actual press event. And then we went for drinks and dinner after, which I don't really think I got the chance to vlog at all. It was really nice. I am just so tired though. It's a lot for your brain to process when you've literally gone from like <laughs> being pinged and having to isolate in July to then 
doing all the things in August. It's just, this month has been crazy. Okay, now that's set, I am going to use this shade here, which doesn't look that light, but it actually comes out a little bit lighter than you think when you swatch it. I will show you all of these swatched. So that is the first one. These are really beautiful and creamy and like super pigmented. So that is the first one. I'll try and remember what they're all called, but it's difficult. I've taken them out of the boxes. So those are the first two, like two really gorgeous pinky mauve shimmers, which I find always really suit my eye colour very well. And then we've got this gorgeous mauve pinky brown tone, which is not too warm toned, so it doesn't kind of make... I find that sometimes really warm toned shadows make my skin look suddenly really pale because my skin is quite warm but you put something that's warmer than my skin tone on it and it just like completely washes me out so yeah those are my three like colors and that's kind of how it went as like a gradient yesterday it was so beautiful so i'm going to start off by using the hourglass 12 eyeshadow brush i'm just going to be packing that into the inner corner <laughs> other shimmery colour and just packing that basically all over the lid. This has turned from like a vloggy catch up into like a partial makeup tutorial. Oh my god, I love this eyeshadow look. So cute. Yeah, one thing I'm really excited for now that I'm home is to get back into reading. I haven't finished my book, The Hunting Party, which lots of you will know that. Lots of you have started reading after seeing me talk about it. I still haven't finished it, so most of you are probably, if you started reading it off my recommendation, are probably finished and ahead of me, so no spoilers, please. Yeah, I'm really behind with reading that, so I'm really excited to get stuck back into that. I also am super looking forward to, I think, tomorrow's post, because I did a Zara order this morning, so that will hopefully be making its way over these parts very very soon i'm really excited i think there's some I kind of started picking up some practical pieces that i know that i'm going to need for autumn but i also saw a lot of things that were just really cute that i loved really excited to get those and try them on. Next I'm going to go in with some mascara. I've been loving the Glossier mascara still. I actually found a really good little technique for using this the other day and it's basically to really push the lashes into the mascara wand and it just seems to make them look really long and really natural without any like little flakes on the lashes. This is like a tubing mascara so I guess like the more small individual strokes you do the more you kind of get like these little bits added on but if you do like one long clean stroke i find it just makes them look so long and so natural without like any clumping like they could look if i wasn't wearing a face full of makeup they could look pretty real i just think that's amazing i also love that this comes off just with like a wet flannel or like face cloth whatever you like to use but yeah so that is my little life and makeup update so far i've actually got a few more makeup things that i definitely want to tell you about thank you for all of your lovely kind messages i do pop on every so often even though it's been borderline chaotic and you're just all so lovely and i really appreciate that especially with the couple of months that i have had i really appreciate that so thank you very much i am just so excited now for us all to be going into autumn together for all the autumn fashion content all the summer to autumn fashion content. I don't know, something switched with me today and I'm like, yeah, I'm really ready to start wearing like cute dresses and boots or just to like, I don't know, have something with sleeves on. Like I'm really starting to like think about taking those kind of pieces out of storage and yeah, I think that's gonna have to happen 
very very soon get me my autumn wardrobe out of storage stat that's my eye makeup i definitely think it looked better when the pro did it but i'll take this and then i'm just gonna use the glossier bronzers which i have been loving loving so much i already have a little bit of this on but i've obviously just put concealer on so i want to just make sure that i haven't messed my bronzer up and i wanted to show you the bronzer i really like this this is the shade ray i also have heat which is definitely a little bit darker i would say heat is more appropriate for me if i like been on holiday but ray is like a really good all-rounder for me i would say and i like tapping it over the tops of my cheekbones especially because it then just gives like a real sun-kissed kind of look these work so beautifully they work really nicely they blend so gorgeously with my foundation on my forehead so i just find the effect that it gives is just really gorgeous and dewy and very like natural looking i'm going to be using a little bit of blush if i can find my blush brush it's gone it's gone walkabouts yesterday when i was at the event they actually used a different shade on me which was called devoted which was also very very nice i think i have it and if i have it i will probably start using that very soon because i think it was ever so slightly darker than loyal but that very similar like really gorgeous nudie tone i would say it matched the eyeshadow color a little bit better but worked really nicely with my skin tone as well these blushes are just gorgeous and i really recommend using them with the spectrum AO4 brush. This is a very good blush brush if you're using cream products or like cream bronzers, anything like that. The only annoying thing about them is every so often they get a little bit stuck. So I have to wind them back down and then just give them a little cushion. But other than that, I cannot recommend them highly enough. They're my favorite blushes. You can also use them as a lip product and they make the best. Let me just show you quickly. I'm gonna put something else on, but. the perfect nude lipstick and it matches your blush exactly but i'm actually going to be using my favorite lip product of the moment and one that you guys have been asking about so much <laughs> so so much i actually need to put it on my instagram stories because i have disappeared off instagram temporarily because i've been so overwhelmed so many of you are in my dms being like what is on your lips at the moment and it is the anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in the shade crush lots of you who have been around for a long time will remember that i used to use pure hollywood back in the day i've put in an order for pure hollywood because i need it back in my life along with a couple of other shades so watch the space i'll keep you updated but crush has been my go-to i actually feel like i need a little bit of lip liner with this to be honest i did my lip liner before i did the rest of my makeup rookie mistake but this shade is just gorgeous it's like a dark pinky nude okay i've lined the lips it's looking a little bit better I and mean, then i always just pat it in it gives it the most lovely kind of matte look helps it dry quicker takes away the excess the whole shebang all the good things yeah and i just love this color i think it works really really nicely with the blush color with these eyeshadow tones as well i absolutely love it i think it's a tone that really suits my skin tone so that is it for makeup i think i've probably missed like a really important step oh powder that is what i've missed honestly i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with my hair today i have leftover curls from so far this week honestly i don't want to do it again today because i feel like i've literally done my hair every single day for the past month i'm very cautious of overdoing it on my hair so this is the shark tilbury powder by the way in the shade one fair pale i could go up a shade i have to use a very small amount of that powder or i have to use it to highlight basically but yeah i think i'm gonna do like a hair mask today and just like pray for the condition of my hair because i literally had it colored i had some baby lights put through do we call them baby lights something like that as you all have seen in the previous vlog and i just really want to give it a little bit of time off after having bleach put on it so yeah it's definitely gonna be in need of a hair mask it's looking a little bit dry from all of the heat styling i also went for a beach walk yesterday so that's really not helped the dryness it's just very beachy textured right now yeah that is my makeup look of the moment we are now ready to get on with the day so i've just been doing a little bit of work at my laptop and i thought i would pop on quickly to show you a few of the other bits that i picked up when i was at space nk yesterday they kindly gifted me just a few little bits and i'm very excited to tell you about what i got so this is the palette that you guys have just seen but i also got these other three shades i'll try and find out what they're all called and link them because i've just realized i've put all of the boxes in the recycling already which was very very ill stupido of me so i'm gonna have to those back out but i will link all of these shades for you guys where possible they also have these little 
single shadow cases which are really cute as well really great for if you're traveling and you just want to take like a one shade for example like i could happily take like a shade like this away with me if i was like doing a night out or something can she get this open with one hand there we go so yeah what you do is you just pop one in there like that i'm not going to do it because i don't think i want to use this for that right now because i think i'm going to get either another trio so that i can put all of these in a little case speaking of cases I also picked this up. Lauren spotted these and they are just so cute. We love a mini. Normally they're about this big, the smaller size at Space NK, and then you have a bigger size which is about this big. But yeah, so cute. I will get a lot of use out of this because this will fit in basically all of my handbags and is great for makeup but also like tech as well. I then have these little eyeshadows which I couldn't resist. They're from Surratt. The cases are really cool. They slide around like this. Look at that. It's like basically going to be similar to the eye look that I've just done, like that inner corner eye, but times a hundred. This is proper like night out vibes for me. So, so beautiful. So it's like a really gorgeous lilac-y tone, like a lilac-y pink. And this is the more like purple toned shadow. Again, a like shimmery lilac. These looked so gorgeous. I just couldn't resist. And the cases are so cute as well. I love those. And then I also picked up this candle i very rarely pick up a candle anymore but i really liked the smell of this one it's very like soft floral it's like a floral marshmallow scent it's really really pretty i think it's called i think you pronounce it lay yeah it's really gorgeous very like florally but it's got this like softness to it which is just so so beautiful and then i also picked up the living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo this is the best dry shampoo i got a restock of that and then i also got it in a mini as well so that i can have it in my handbag oh my god that candle smells incredible so that is everything i picked up yesterday and then i also just thought i would confirm i did in fact secure the bag i'm very excited about this i sadly will not be unboxing this for a while but the second i do you guys are gonna know about it and you guys are gonna be involved so stay tuned i cannot wait let me know what you think i got i actually it was torn between two and i've sent all of my friends like the photo of the two in shot and asked them to guess which one they thought i bought it was a very tough decision it didn't actually go the way i thought it was gonna go i didn't go for the style there were two styles that i knew i was going to be picking between i didn't think it was gonna go this way at all but yeah so excited to eventually get to show you guys that i'm about to go for a little walk now i think this is the last of the good hair we're about to see it's going to get blown to pieces and it's going to be an absolute bird's nest with all of the sea air yeah gonna do a little bit of work go for a walk so good to be home i was going to vlog my lovely afternoon walk but it's not really turned out the way i wanted it to <laughs> <laughs> it's so grey. Just getting really, really wet. My makeup has been ruined. I'm quite glad I'm at the end of my working day. Don't even know if you can hear me. <laughs> it's just dawned on me. <laughs> Did I even eat it? Also, is this a Susie Benaldi vlog without me eating a bowl of cereal? I'm having a really backwards food day today and having my breakfast at four in the afternoon because Ryan actually cooked me a tofu scramble for breakfast this morning. It was so good. And we're having a very, very late dinner tonight because he's also, he's cooking twice in one day. I'm loving life. He is cooking a leek pasta after he gets back from football so very excited for that but it basically feels like i have my lunch a lunch sized meal for breakfast a breakfast sized meal for lunch and then i will have a normal dinner but i'm having a very backwards food day just feel the need to tell you that just in case i'd already like told you guys it was four in the afternoon and you're wondering why the hell i'm eating cereal at four in the afternoon that is why also i just love cereal <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one that just like loves eating cereal. It is hair mask time. I'm about to unbox a fresh Kerastase Blonde Absolute Mask. 
you're also watching tonight's vlog because I actually have been so busy I haven't watched this one normally I watch them before they go live I haven't had the chance so I'm watching it for the first time along with you guys anyway this is the mask it's just like a normal kind of like white creamy color inside they do one of these as well which is a purple mask but i really prefer this one i think it's better for my hair because my hair doesn't really need to be super ashy anymore we've gone a lot warmer with it so yeah this is what it looks like and i'm just gonna wet the ends of my hair like well the mid lengths and ends of my hair brush it through and then put the mask in and then just leave it in until i shower and wash my hair later tonight just to give it a little bit of tlc i will probably put my conditioner in when i'm in the shower for a little bit longer as well just to give it the most just i just want it to stay really nice and healthy because it's doing so well this length i really like this length i've been so happy with it how it is now i think if i grow it i will probably maybe stop about here but yeah i would happily go back to having it this length because it's a really fun length before this when it was kind of like that in between phase between where it was and where it is now that's not a fun <laughs> that is not a fun growing out stage but this i'm loving i'm really enjoying it it's just you can do a lot more with it there's a lot more options for curls for waves so me and my lines may not I'm gonna get on with this now I'm not actually driving by the way before anyone tries it i'm not actually driving i'm not on the road i am on my way to see sweet sweet baby girl nana i'm very excited to see her apparently she has been having a very lazy day lying in her bed literally hasn't moved the whole day she's fine she's just being really really lazy but like loving life in her bed and i'm very very jealous of her so i'm basically going to ryan's to join her my hair mask is in it's doing all the good things i've got my shampoo and conditioner packed to wash my hair at ryan's house so i will be back with you tomorrow looking like a fresh haired little peach yeah my chat past any time past four o'clock i can't talk to the camera anymore so i'm gonna go to ryan's i'm gonna have some dinner sit with the little fur ball also i've just been watching the last vlog back and i just think it's so funny that i kept leaving my camera places or the battery or forgetting to vlog and literally this week i actually did one worse it's like been a build-up to me actually leaving my camera in the back of an uber basically so yeah you live and you learn but we all saw this coming basically <laughs> <laughs> like a slow car crash. Anyway, it's happened now. It's done. So I need to stop moaning about it. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, how was your day? today's outfit is one that you've actually seen before very recently but it's kind of become a little bit of like a comfort blanket for me recently this and then like shirts like over shirts and shorts with the zara body i like my comfort blanket at the moment i'm actually really loving these jeans these are a very old pair of top shop jeans which are very big on me they're meant to be high-waisted and they sit like much lower but i'm actually finding that very very comfortable yeah i really like wearing them like this and then i've got my little zara crop top on with it which i am obsessed with i much prefer the black to the white they kind of do this thing where they bunch a little bit on the shoulders and the white one you can really tell but the black you really can't see at all i just think it's a slightly better fit even though they're both the same size but yeah really loving that i've then got my monica vinader 
chain necklace on all monica Medida rings as well my discount code i believe is staying live for six months i will leave that in the info box if you want to use it go ahead feel free i will also be using it there's some bangles that i really want to pick up at the moment so yeah enjoy happy shopping and thank you to monica Benita for leaving it live for that long love you i've also got some astrogen me little like rainbow kind of colored earrings in my amelia liana raimi anklet my shoes are zara and then my sunglasses are ysl i get asked about these all the time i actually think there's a dupe that i have linked for them as well so i will try and link those real kind of like cat eye but nothing too dramatic that makes you feel a little bit over the top i really like that they're kind of like cool but understated and then i'm just gonna go with the same bag that i've been wearing all week really been getting my wear out of this which is great because i bought it a year before lockdown but just didn't get the wear out of it and then obviously through lockdown did not get the wear out of it at all and now i feel like i'm really getting the wear out of it i'm very happy with that yeah that's it for my outfit i've got my black zara overshirt i will show you for those of you that weren't around this time last autumn those of you that were you will have seen this and i've worn it to death and you will be bored of it so this is the shirt it actually has like a tie waist normally i'll pop a photo on screen here of me kind of wearing it how i would normally wear it but yeah i've taken the belt away i've just left it kind of like oversized as like a throw on just in case it's a bit chilly it's actually really nice today so i don't think i'm gonna need this i'm just gonna throw it in the back of my car just in case but yeah literally just gonna be in and out of a therapy session really so yeah i'm sure this will be absolutely fine i'm sure i'll be fine in just a t-shirt and jeans to be honest but better safe than sorry so i just had my first introductory therapy session it was good second i told her how old i was and what i've been going through the past few years she started talking about saturn returns so love her i think we're very much on the same page i now need to run and get princess baby angel pie nala some food oh my god i've gone down the tightest road this was a bad idea but yeah it was good and i'm really glad that i fought all of the feelings that you get or oh, some people including me get before you start like with a new therapist or a therapist at all where your brain starts telling you that you don't need it and you don't need to go and yeah i'm glad i fought those feelings because those feelings are not real like i really i have been so in need of it and yeah i was just telling her some things and she was like i made a joke at the beginning i always make jokes and therapists don't like me because i make jokes when i'm uncomfortable but i made a joke at the beginning saying that her box on the introductory form wasn't big enough and we got to the end and she was like yeah there isn't a box big enough for this so um <laughs> felt quite validated to be honest anyway now i'm gonna get on with my day i'm gonna grab some food go for a walk and just chill ryan and i'm making tacos tonight and i am really looking forward to it i may have a glass of rose as well feeling a bit free look what's in here i got you some presents do you want to see Got you a new seatbelt because Nanny stole the other one. Got you a collar. Do you like it? Oh, oh, she's not sure. She's not sure. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll try again. And look, there's your dinner. Can I get a high five? Yeah. Meanwhile, I've picked up a few bits for tonight's dinner and about 6,400 jars of pippin nut almond butter because, you know, I love it. They've repackaged it. It's now recyclable. Love that. I honestly never thought I'd see the day I bought tofu, but Ryan's actually been making scrambled like egg style stuff out of it recently and it is so good. I'm feeling so hungry right now, so I bought quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm very excited to cook dinner tonight. We're actually having tacos and Ryan's bringing a few other bits as well. But yeah, I've got these for tomorrow. I'm very excited about that. And of course, chocolate oat milk because it is the best. Just warm it up and it makes the best vegan hot chocolate. So yummy and doesn't freak my skin out. So love it. just come home into a very large Zara order. Oh, hello. What is this? He missed me by any chance. She's obsessed with this bear that I bought her. So yeah, very excited to unbox this with you very soon. I always had another smaller Zara order, which I actually ordered like the day before. Finally got my hands on some nude bodies which I'm really excited about because I have one that was getting a bit old. It was the first one that I ever bought and it was just looking a little bit worn like here. I bought it in like 2019 and had had it for so long. And then the other one, my good one, which was slightly newer, I got a foundation mark on here, which is very annoying. I wear them all the time. So I thought I'd pick up some new ones. I've got a size small, 14.99, the best 14.99 
I could spend. I literally wear these so much. These are an absolute wardrobe staple. And then I also picked up, these are from In The Style. I wasn't sure which size. They These are my favorite shorts from In The Style and they had a six or a 10, not an eight, which I already had. I got, again, a foundation mark. It was the same, I was wearing, this is like my favorite outfit combo on warm days and the foundation hit me here, but then fell like here. So I'm gonna keep the other pair of shorts just for like, casual wear but when I want to actually look nice and not have stains on my clothes I thought I'd get another pair but I am not sure if it'll be a 10 or a 6 because sadly the was out of stock but I think I'll go for the 10 because it's a tie waist but just wanted to double check oh look at you <laughs> what is going on with that tail your new collar looks so pretty ah uh... Oh, look at you. Lauren and I saw a chihuahua in Zara the other day. I didn't even know they let dogs into Zara. And it was like a little like bruiser woods, legally blonde chihuahua puppy. It had a pink collar like this, but then it had like diamante lettering on the side and it was called Paris. It was so cute. Okay, so a little bit creasy, but I'm very happy with the fit. It's been a little while since I bought a Zara body. So I was a little bit worried that the quality might have changed or something, but actually it's still the exact same. So very happy with that. And then the shorts, I went with the size 10. I just prefer that you get like a bit more material around the top and I prefer to like cinch things in rather than have things a little bit tighter. You also get a little bit more material to the shorts as well, which is very cute. They're just a really nice pair of shorts that are very like easy to throw on and I love them. Yeah, this has basically been my go-to summer outfit with my, as you will have seen, I think earlier in the vlog, very briefly with my white like tweed texture over shirt over the top. It's just like such a perfect go-to summer outfit. So yeah, very happy that I now have like a clean version of them. Oh, you guys, there's some real autumn winter goodness going on in here. Look at those tones. I am so excited. I'm currently mentally prepping myself for a big like autumn winter wardrobe switchover, getting all the summer stuff back in the wardrobes, like keeping those summer like transitional pieces, but then getting like some autumn pieces out. I'm really excited to do like a big organizational switch over. So that is definitely gonna be coming up. I'm really looking forward to it. Like I feel like the weather is starting to kind of like turn. It's still warm, but it feels like it's on like the turn. I know we'll have another heat wave before it's fully like out but I just want to get some like cute autumnal pieces ready. I'm actually really excited to crack out the leather trousers and oversized jumpers. Loads of you will roll your eyes. I can't wait. It's going to be so good. Are you excited? What autumn content do you want to see from me over the next few weeks? Please let me know because I'm ready. I am ready. Mr. Ryan is here. He's being very serious right now, dishing up dinner. Like, honestly, the concentration here on his face is wild. So, basically, we're recreating our hacker sure. um, sort of meal that we had the other day. Basically, Ryan recreated the pasta we had from time last night and tonight he's rec recreating the Oaxaca from Cardiff. <laughs> Meanwhile, my biggest priority is basically considering whether to open this bottle of rosé. I feel like I, I deserve it. Yeah, it's my first weekend at home in this month. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I think it needs to happen. So yeah, I'm gonna crack this open and tell Ryan all about my therapy session, which I had today, which you guys already know about. They know before you. Well, they won't actually because it's well, they won't. Love. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So, be right back. Got to tell them about the astrology reference, which I loved. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, what therapist is this? slightly started to fall off my face. I'm just giving it 
a little touch up. I realised I actually hadn't ended this vlog and I really need to because I think it's like the longest vlog in the world by now. But just thought I'd come on here and check in on how you were all doing. Probably add another five minutes onto the vlog. Sorry in advance to you all if you got hungry and actually needed snacks. Okay, that is a nice level of bronziness I feel like. I hadn't filmed a haul in so long. <laughs> I forgot how hot and sweaty I get filming them like I always my makeup always just melts off my face especially because I was doing like a summer to autumn transitional Zara haul heads up it is coming on Thursday yeah I always forget how much my makeup just like melts off my face and how much of a mess I make oh my god my bedroom honestly looks crazy for anyone that's wondering I'm using the by Terry Cellular Rose CC Serum in Sunny Flash. I actually have a discount code from them at the moment, which this isn't like an ad, they actually just gave me a discount code. I love it. When brands give me discount codes, it means I can just like give you something. Like, who doesn't love that? I also love a discount code. So hopefully you guys do as well. If you want to get anything off by Terry at the moment, I think you can use it on everything. If there's any exclusions, I'll like pop it on the screen and in the info box. But yeah, I thought you guys would all like a buy cherry discount code so you can pick up like any of your favorite products any of my favorite products that you've always wanted to try for a little bit of a discount which is great i will also be using it so be prepared i might suddenly have an army of by terry ombre black stars because they are the best eyeshadows ever i think i spoke about one of them recently it's the by terry ombre black star in bronze moon is the best one the hyaluronic powders are also very good i always have one in my kit for when I'm doing my friend's makeup. Like I have the loose, translucent powders. I also have this palette, which is the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder Palette in fair to medium. And I use the bottom two shades, but I love the loose powder as well. It's so, so good. Like really hydrating, but like setting at the same time. I don't know, this is magical. So much that I like from By Terry. I honestly could go through it forever. Like the Hyaluronic Foundation is so good. The Don Solis Foundation, so good. So much of their skincare, they have less, like this rose micellar water, which I used to use every day. I think I went through about three of them. It was goals. Let me know if you want a little like vlog edit of all of my favorite things so that you can like shop from there but let me know if you don't need that like just shop away use the discount code so excited i've been so excited to share it with you yeah that is live i think from today if i'm wrong i will confirm in the info box but i'm pretty sure it's today because i woke up and i was like it's by terry code week I'm very very excited for that but if nothing else if you like the by terry cc serum you can get it on a discount go to town people go to town the cc serum is great you can use it like i use it over my spf sometimes if i'm having like a one of those no makeup makeup look days not a no makeup actual makeup day but you can also use it like mixed in with stuff or over the top so i just used it like basically as a bronzer because i had rubbed off my bronzer from my forehead and it just gives the most gorgeous glow to your skin mm, absolutely love it they also have these cute balms as well which are kind of like pigmented but like creamy i have one on today just over my liquid lipstick which is kind of giving it a like light pinky nudie tone this is shade one sexy nude so it's just given it this like very light nude sheen which is really gorgeous very like mac hue-esque but yeah that is my little psa of the morning i'm all ready to carry on filming today i actually also need to sort out my bedroom because it currently looks like this i forgot what filming zara halls was like i make so much mess so i need to tidy this all up crack on with the day i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you guys again on thursday but the zara haul that made this mess <laughs> it's actually even worse if i like pan the camera around the whole room it gets worse we don't need to see that but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog i love you all lots and i'll see you again on thursday